You have uh, Veterans for Peace. What is that? Yes, we're we're here to say that uh, the poor people need to be respected. They need to have the funds that they were promised years ago and that we need to be aware of their plight instead of all the 1% who get all the tax breaks. How much do you think the 1% uh, pays in general in terms of ta all taxes? Well, probably not their fair share, especially since last December they were under 20% tax cut one did to effect. Are, are you aware that they pay, the 1% pays actually like 43% of all taxes? The top of... Well, there are probably numbers that dispute that, but I'm, I'm done, thank you. You're done talking? Okay. Class, um, how, can I talk about like the lie of uh, that there's scarcity? Can you elaborate a little bit more on that? We have the material resources to take care of our population. It's often said that overpopulation is a cause for some people to go without, but the problem is a poor allocation of those resources. We allocate the resources well, then everyone can have adequate housing, adequate food, adequate health care. Right, so, yeah, so I would say there's plenty of resources, yes. right? Um, but I guess you can find, like, objectively, there is only a finite amount out there on this planet, though. Yes, right. Uh, so that would be a scarce. Resources are scarce, then. But certain resources, yes. But this is a more general term. When we talk about resources, we talk about shelter and, and we talk about health care. Those are resources that some people go without, right? Not just natural resources like coal or whatever we're, we're trying to burn. And obviously, we should move towards green energy because that, that is a way to ensure well into the future that we can continue to provide at the same level. Right. Now, uh, in terms, so you're talking about health care, not being a resource, but like a service being provided. Yes, right. Now, uh, like, um, are you advocating for like universal health care or everyone having like a uh, yes. right to health care? Would that not necessarily like force doctors to have to provide health care then? Or if, if it's an absolute right that you have a health care, a doctor must perform. They don't really have a choice in that matter, right? Sure. sure. So you're fine forcing doctors to perform? Where, where are you going with this? Well, I'm saying like, uh, don't you think like if you, if you value health care or like the quality of life, by the way, uh, Liberate, uh, nonpartisan uh, news channel. What is it? Liberate. Liberate, do you know about them? No. no. What do you think about the health care in England that led to uh, that child, Alfie Elvins, uh, to die? Mm. I don't know enough to comment there. Okay, so just, so like they denied him health care. They said, well, we're the government. The mother was trying to get the child out of England to go to Italy. They're offering like a free plane ride and take care of the child, but the government said no. They had cops line up outside of the hospital to prevent the child from leaving. I'm not going to comment on something that I haven't okay, yeah, yeah. into okay, yeah. I mean, so do you know where in health care where you force a, a doctor Doctor, right, you have to threaten them with violence to, per to perform a service. Don't you think that's also contradictory towards advocating for health care where you, you threaten the health of a doctor to perform? Their health isn't threatened. They're a doctor and they provide health care for people. But you're saying you, you would force a doctor to perform a service. Right? If, it's, if it's a right, people have to perform. They have no choice. People have to provide that service. Well, wasn't that a condition of their employment? If they chose to become doctors, then that was their choice. I mean, really. I mean, you know, I'm not sure uh, what you do for a living. I don't know if this is like a professional thing or if there's a hobby thing, but hypothetically, let's just say uh, you work at McDonald's or something, hypothetically, you know, a condition of your employment is that you make burgers for people. That's just what you do. Now, are you being threatened with violence if you don't make burgers? Well, only to the extent that you are not receiving a wage. That's the only real anything close to violence that I could really throw in that. So to say that with a threat of violence, doctors having to perform, you know, these duties on people, they're all that's already the case. That's already the situation they're in. So I'm trying to understand exactly what your question is. Is it should we I, what, what exactly is your question? So my question is like, like um, I don't know so much about having rights, like right to services, right? I would say like we have a duty to respect each other, right, and our bodily integrity and our uh, body ownership, but we could trade for their services. But when we talk about like a, a right, it seems to be something that you must, you have, you're forced to provide, right? You have no choice. We have a right to life. The fact is, how are you going to have life without health care, for example? The fact is, if we have a government whose job is to promote our general welfare, who's supposed to protect our right to life, if that's what our government's job is, if we pay resource into that government, shouldn't we expect the government to do its damn job? 
I mean, really, if you think about it, life is a right. Healthcare specifically, not a right, but if we know that explicitly life is a right, then it should be implied that healthcare is a right too. Okay, see so where, where are you going with that? Yeah. Do you think um, do you think the government actually does that protect your life or protect uh, your rights or anything like that? Remember, our focus is not. I mean, really, they're they're pretty good about property rights, and they're not really that much good about a lot else. But uh, that's really all I gotta say on this. I'm trying not to be on camera a whole lot, yeah, but uh, let's go understand. And, uh, you're sharing your yeah, opinion. yeah, and uh, who are you with? Liberate. Liberate. I'm not. I'm, okay, that's who you're asking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not familiar with Liberate. Okay, yeah. Or so we have a YouTube like channel. Libertarians or something? Uh, yeah, you can say libertarian. Okay. Not political, apolitical. We kind of want to remove government out of our lives and kind of. Well, I, I can definitely uh, agree with that. With government, you're there. There is a contract between the governed and the government that needs to be, you know, respected. So, you know, the thing is, if you're not going to have government, well, that's fine. The fact is, we do have government. I am paying taxes. I'm going to want to see something out of it other than... You can say that, yeah. But, like, you know, but, like, you, but you have no explicit contract with government, right? And you don't really pay. Your, they take it from you. You don't have a choice, right? Because if you had a choice, they, they wouldn't threaten to send you to jail, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Tax day was this last month, right? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, y'all have a good day. Hope y'all are able to find some good people. Take it easy, man.